puppies. I must have left it in Animal Junction. Oh, <laughs> I lost one of my hiking boots. Have you seen it? Oh yeah, there it is. Hold it! A creature adventurer always checks his boots before he puts them on. You never know who might have stopped by. Especially here in Animal Junction. Thanks, bro. No problem. Hey, somebody's in there. See him? Yeah. It's, it's furry, but it's not my sock. Wow. It's a tarantula. These amazing spiders live in burrows. Thanks for dropping by. Well, we found a tarantula, but where's Zabu? Let's call him. Hey, Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Zabu's here. We're gonna have fun. Zabu. Zabu's hungry, so I'll make him a snack. Martin, Zabu already has a snack. So I'll have the snack myself. Zabu loves eating leaves. He eats leaves just like you eat salad. Hey, Zabu, you want some salad? No way. He's eating leaves. I guess that's why they call it Toss Salad. Zabu, you want some mimosa leaves? He likes those. Zabu <laughs> 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 Whoa! Hey, Zabu. Martin, your breath smells good. You've got onion breath. Must have been the onions in the salad I ate. Love onions. And you sure do love those leaves. Oh, I do, I do. Leaves are one of my favorite foods. Green is a yummy color. So, Zabu, who'd you see on the way over? Yeah, what kind of mongotic animals headed this way? Oh. Chris, Martin, I didn't see anybody. Nobody? Nobody. Wow, has this ever happened before? I don't think so either. Hmm? What was that noise? That's a mystery noise, all right. But where's it coming from? Zabu, hmm? is your stomach making noises? No, it wasn't me. I eat a lot of leaves. I'm wooky. <gasps> then who is making that noise? Who could it be? Let's find out. <gasps> Manga Tsika! I found out who it is. But I don't know who the who is. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Yep, that's the growly sound. That's it. <laughs> and I think he's a baby, because he's small. Yeah, as small as a ball. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Floppy ears and a, oh, a tail! A waggy tail! Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? I think he's happy to see me. Do you know who he is? I know who the mystery animal is. Do you? Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. And you know what? I think there's more than one. Monkatsika! Mystery animals here! Do you know who it is? Puppies! Hey. Hey. And they are as small as a ball. And look at them crawl! <laughs> it's a puppy invasion! <laughs> hey, get back here! These puppies are always on the move. Well, you know puppies. Everything's new to them, and they like to explore. 
and there's a lot of things to explore around here. Puppies have a great sense of smell. They're sniffing all the animals who have been through here. Well, their tails are really wagging. <laughs> that means they're happy to see you. <laughs> oh, that tickles. <laughs> These puppies remind me of a special friend I met in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I heard something. <laughs> A little green puppy ran up to me. She said, I like you. She licked my tummy. Whoa, that tickles. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, that tickles too much. I like you. Stop, stop licking my tummy. And then, uh, um, oh, uh. Then what happens, Zob? I can't remember. For now. <laughs> Zabu, what's he saying? He's saying... Oh, the puppy sound. Yeah. <laughs> Can you make the puppy sound? <laughs> hey, Zabu, what yeah. does the puppy sound mean? Oh, well, I'm not sure. Well, tell me what you said again. Oh, I think they want their mommy. Their mommy? Where is the mother dog? Mother dogs never leave their puppies for long. She must be close by. She must be around here somewhere. Mommy dog, where are you? Well, she's not here now, so I guess we'll have to look after her puppies until she gets back. Well, I could do that. Well, what do we do when we look after puppies? First, we give them a bowl of water. For them to swim in? No, Zob, because they might be thirsty. Oh. Why are they sticking their faces in the water? <laughs> That's how puppies drink. Oh, I get my water from the leaves when I eat them. And we drink water from a glass. But puppies lick up the water with their tongues. These guys are so much like the wild dog puppies from Africa. And like all puppies, wild dog puppies are just as playful and need to be watched over. Wild dogs live in packs, so even when the mother dog has gone off hunting, there's always a puppy sitter around to keep the puppies out of trouble. Bringing up wild dog puppies is a job for the whole pack. Great, now I'm gonna teach them how to climb. <laughs> but Sabu, puppies don't climb, hmm? they walk. Oh, you're right. I guess that puppy isn't climbing. He's walking. He's walking too close to that water. <gasps> he might fall in. That puppy's too little to swim. Gotcha, buddy. Yeah! That was a close one. Mm, yeah, put them right there where I can watch them. Now they're all together. <laughs> Except for that one. Huh? She's too close to that tarantula. A tarantula is poisonous. And she can really bite! <sighs> That's why puppies need their mommies. Where is the mother dog? I don't know, but I do know these puppies need more water. Why? Well, their bowl is empty. <laughs> Except it has a puppy in it. <laughs> I'll get the water. Huh? I'll get it. Huh? Yay! Chris! Yeah! My group. Uh-oh. Whoa! Whoa! That's gotta be squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Taking care of puppies is really hard work. Yeah, I wish their mom would come back. Zob, we need to clean off. Coming, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Zob. <laughs> Thanks, Zob. <laughs> Chris, 
Who's, what? Who's that over there? It's the mother dog. Hey, that's one big puppy. That's not a puppy. It's the mother dog. She hopped right through the door like I do. <laughs> Let's call her Hop. <laughs> this is great. I'm so happy the doggy mom came back to her puppies. Hey, wait a minute. Why did she leave her puppies to get a rag? She went to get a rag to make her bed softer and more comfy for her puppies. <laughs> it's like when your mom or dad gives you a blanket. Woo! It's great being tucked in at night with a soft blanket. And the mother dog has the same idea. She gives them a blanket because she loves her puppies. I love them too. I love them so much, I want to be a puppy. If you want to be a puppy, all you have to do is crawl around and make growly sounds. Come on and try it. Let's run like puppies. Come on, guys. <laughs> Okay. Running with puppies is making me feel puppyish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel puppyish. How about you? Puppyish. I feel puppyish. Woo woo woo! Puppyish. I'm a roly poly puppy wrestling on the ground. You're a puppy, but the question is, do you have puppy breath like our puppies do? Puppy breath? What's puppy breath? Hey, Chris, do these puppies have puppy breath? <laughs> this one sure does, and his tongue tickles my nose. See for yourself, Zob. <laughs> you're right, she does, and you're right again. Her tongue does tickle. <laughs> hey, feel this. Let me just wipe this puppy breath away so you can see. And now, let's find out how many puppies there are. I'll count them, I'll count them, and you can help me. You ready to go? <clears throat> One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight puppies. I've never seen so many puppies before. Uh, I've never seen any puppies before. I can hardly believe my mind. <laughs> Incoming. Duck! Duck! <laughs> She's not a duck, she's Moonface. <laughs> Moonface doesn't have puppy breath. No, she has barn owl breath. I wonder what Jackie's doing today. The animal helpers and I were riding our bikes by a farm, and you wouldn't believe what we saw. Do you think this calf belongs over here by herself? I don't think so. She belongs over there with her mom. Let's go. Of course, the baby cat's a bit scared at first. He doesn't understand. We're just taking him back to his mom. Come on, little cow. Let's go to your mom. But once we get him back inside, he's really happy. And he's really hungry, too. There, see how happy they are now? Great work, Adam Helpers. Let's go. Boy, you really have to keep an eye on baby animals. Because sometimes they wander off and get lost. In that case, I better count the puppies again. Okay, ready? One, two, eight. You're four. You're supposed to be over there. Come on, four, get it. Okay, okay, four, three, um, three. you're six, and um, where's five? Oh, five, five, uh, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, there's only seven puppies. One of the puppies is missing. Oh, no, we've got to find the puppy. Here, puppy, puppy. Where's that puppy? Where is he? He has to be somewhere in Animal Junction. Look. Hop's trying to sniff out where her puppy's gone. Maybe in here. No! <laughs> <laughs> There's
There's no room for a puppy in there. Look, a hole. That must be how the puppy got lost. He's outside. What? Oh, Hop's worried. She can't find her puppy. Don't worry, Hop. We'll help you find your lost puppy. We'll take a trip and find the lost puppy. Yeah. I'll stay here and watch the puppies. I'll be the puppy sitter. So no more puppies get lost. Great idea. We'll be back. We'll be back soon. All right. Now the lost puppy couldn't have gone very far. You gonna help us find her? Great. Let's go. Let's go. Well, we just got to keep looking. Here, puppy, puppy. Puppy, where are you? Where's that puppy gone? Puppy! Maybe the puppy crawled into those rocks. Let's have a look, Chris. Good idea, man. He's not in here. He's not in here either. Boy, this puppy's gotta be here someplace. All right, let's try that way. All right. Here, puppy, puppy, puppy. Where is that puppy? Here, puppy. This little puppy is harder to find than I thought. He must be around here somewhere. Let's keep looking. She does sound happy. I wonder why. Uh, 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 I found her puppy, the lost puppy. Hey, good job, huh? Hey, you guys. Good job. Hey, come here. <laughs> oh, this is great. Great to see ya. Great job, Hop. We were looking all over for you. Where you been? <laughs> yeah, this is the lost puppy, all right. He's small, he's furry. Oh yeah, this is him. <laughs> and he has puppy breath. Look. Hey, let me wipe that off for you. Oops. The little lost puppy is happy to see his mom, and Hop is happy to see her little puppy. <laughs> Let's get clean. Going home. Hey, let's head on back to Antler Junction. Come on. Five, six, We seven. found the lost puppies, Hop. Oh, hooray. I knew you'd find them. Yeah. Oh, phew. I've been counting the whole time, and they're all still here. And guess what? I named every one of them. <laughs> let's see. Heidi, Ruffy, uh, Yellow Dog, Stinky. Uh, let's see. That one's Chris. And Oh, careful with Chris. And, and Martin is over there. Whoop. Yellow dog, Chris. Settle what down. are you going to call this guy? Oh, him? Him I'm going to call lost and found. <laughs> Get it? Because he was lost, and now he's found. <laughs> oh. Okay, the puppies are hungry. Must be supper time. Let's get these puppies some puppy food. <laughs> Hey, the snack machine is on the freaks again. I'll hit it again. Now that's a lot of puppy food. 
for a lot of puppies. I'll feed them. I'm gonna take a look at this. Puppy food tastes just as good to little puppies as chocolate cake does to us. And we all gobble it down just as fast. And just as messy. They're stepping in their dish. <laughs> These puppies are old enough to eat puppy food, but not too long ago, they were still drinking milk from their mother. Back then, each one of the puppies found a nipple and sucked down the milk as fast as they could. That's how they got so big. These puppies are still little enough to drink milk. There you go. Well, can I try some milk? Sure. Hmm? Here you go, Zop. Oh. Uh... Mm. <sighs> Whoa, that was good. <sighs> Zabu, hmm? do you know what? Hmm. You have puppy breath. <laughs> puppy breath must come from drinking milk. Well, you can have puppy breath too if you drink some milk. That's right. Now we all have puppy breath. <sighs> <laughs> Chris, Martin, I remember the rest of the story when I met the green puppy in Zabu land. <laughs> so I was leaping along. Leap, <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I heard something. <laughs> A little green puppy ran up to me. She said, I like you. She licked my tummy. Whoa, that tickles. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, that tickles too much. So, no, no, stop, stop licking my tummy. So then she licked my face. That tickles too. And you know what else? You have puppy breath. Oh. Yes, yes, I've got puppy breath. I've got puppy breath. Yes, yes, yes. Puppy breath, puppy breath, puppy breath, 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 breath. Breath, breath, breath. I like you, puppy. I like you too, Zabu. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the green puppy and I were best friends. The end. So, Zab, why is the green puppy green? Because green is a yummy color. Well, I love green puppies and all kinds of puppies. That's why I love today. Me too, Zob. Well, what was your favorite part of the day, Martin? I love the part when we were all crawling around with the puppies. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> My favorite part was puppy sitting when all the puppies played on top of me. <laughs> oh, careful. Oh, that tickles. That tickles. And my favorite part of the day was when we fell in the mud and found the lost puppy. He found the lost <laughs> Great to see ya. <laughs> Great job, Hop. Oh, yeah. Hey, look. Some of the puppies are sleeping. They had a big day. No wonder they're tired. Especially lost and found. He's so pooped. Nothing will wake him up. Hear that? The puppies are snoring. <laughs> Martin, yeah. I think I'll sit and sleep here today so I don't wake the puppies. Good idea, Zob. <laughs> These animals are friends of mine from the tip of their nose to their funny behinds. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah. Chris, I should have a snack before I go. Sure, Zabu. Another onion? Uh, Here you go. Excuse me. See ya. Woohoo! See you later, Zabu. Bye, Zabumafu. Hop doesn't need puppy sitters anymore. We'll see you next time. Bye, Hop. See you, Floppy. Bye, Stinky. Heidi. Ruffy. Yellow Dog. Lost and Found. Martin. Chris. Bye. Puppy breath, puppy breath. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, I'm Alex, and this is my soccer dog, Rascal. I can't believe my mind. Oh, it's 
cold outside. That's why I got here early. Hmm. The duck came inside, just like me. Mangatsika, lots of creatures are coming in from the cold. I've never seen that kind of a cat before. Hmm. I think I'm on to something. Chris, over here. What did you find? Lynx tracks. Ooh, they're lynx footprints, all right. They're beauties. Let's follow them. I'm right behind you, bro. <laughs> Achoo! I smell mud. Uh-oh, you stepped in the mud. <laughs> now your footprints are all over Animal Junction. <laughs> He's making tracks. I'm gonna follow them. Oh, yeah, yeah, those tracks are big, real big. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Bigfoot Cat. Wow, your feet are giant. Bigger than big. Let's call Chris and Martin. This is a cat they'll want to meet. Chris, Martin. The tracks are heading right down this hill. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, Bigfoot Cat, I don't think they can hear us. Come on, let's call louder this time. Chris, Martin. Oh. Right, brothers. Chris, Martin. Wait a minute, I hear something. Zabu! He must be an animal juncture already! Come on! <laughs> That's pretty fast! Zabu! What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you up to, Zab? Well, I beat you guys. Now you have to do what I do when I come in. You have to be a lemur, like me. What? Right. Yeah, no problem. Good lemur leaping, Chris. Yeah. Come on, leap like a lemur. You can do it. <laughs> Woo! Come on, guys. Lemurs leap much higher than that. <laughs> Whatever you say, Zab. Leap in, lemurs. No, you can't talk. First snack, then talk. Remember? I'll get the snack. <laughs> Chris, pizza. Martin, spaghetti. <laughs> Chris and Martin like their snacks. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> like me. First they snack, then they burp, then they talk. <laughs> So what did you see out there? Did you see the mystery animal? We saw tracks, Zob. And we know whose tracks they are. Huh? See if you can guess. Who, Who could, could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, pointy ears. You can see those pointy ears right away. And big paws that made huge tracks in the snow. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Oh, God's God. Oh, God's God. Animal. He's a kind of wildcat. And this wildcat loves to jump and pounce. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A point here, short tail track, track maker. maker. Do you, you know, know who he is? Now, let's see. He's got big, big feet and pointy ears. That sounds like, I know who. Bigfoot Cat, that's who you were following? Yeah! I can't believe my mind. I got, I got mystery animals here. Yeah, yeah. He's called a lynx, Sob. A Bigfoot lynx cat. This is the creature whose tracks we were following. A young lynx. Uh-oh, I think the lynx forgot his tail in the woods. Nope, that's all of it, Zob. Link's tails are short and stubby. His tail looks like your nose, Narchie. I like it. I like it. There you go. You can only pet a lynx in Animal Junction. Hey, his ears are pointy. Black tufts of hair. Big feet, short tail, pointy ears. The lynx is Mangatsika. That means I love him. <laughs> and this lynx seems to be looking for something. His head's always moving, he's looking around, and he's listening to all the sounds. I think he is looking for something, but what do you think he's looking for? Maybe he's looking for someone to play with. <laughs> Come 
on, Lynx. Play with me. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm being lynxed. <laughs> Whoa, 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 you're really fast. Whoa. Those big paws are fast, Zob, and strong. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Lynx love to play. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I tickles. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Play with me. Whoa. Whoa. He plays rough. When those big feet have you, they really have you. <laughs> you're right, Zob. Look at those feet. They're incredible. Thanks, Chris. I was born with them. He's not talking about your feet. He's talking about the lynx's feet. Oh, yeah. His feet are big with lots of fur around them to make them even bigger. And his big feet don't uh, sink in the snow. Yeah. Like these things you wear on your feet. Hmm. Yeah, snowshoes. Yeah, snowshoes. You got it, Zob. These snowshoes will help us run in the snow like a lynx. You want to run in the snow like a lynx? Come on. When spring comes, the lynx sheds that extra fur on his feet. Because when there's no snow, he doesn't need his snowshoes. Hey, what are you sniffing for? Bigfoot the lynx is looking for something. I just know it. Oh no, watch out! Oh, lots of yellow paint on the floor. Oh, Mouse likes it. And now Mouse is leaving little yellow tracks everywhere. <laughs> Snakes making slidey tracks. Super cool slidey tracks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Martin, look what the Lynx did. And look at all these creature tracks. What are these ones? A kangaroo! Big feet, big tracks. Look at this. It's like a slippery, slidey snail trail, only bigger. It's a boa constrictor. This is who made that track. Look at his little tongue. It's flicking in and out. But Chris, how does he make a track? He doesn't have any feet. He makes it with his whole body. Huh? Yeah, he just slithers along and leaves a squiggly track. Snakes are like one long foot. Snakes are solid muscle. He's so heavy, look at him go. <laughs> there are tracks all over this place. You know what? I think I'll make my own tracks. I wonder what creature foot made these tracks. Whoa, big feet, big creature. Hey, Zod! A creature didn't make these tracks, a creature venturer did. <laughs> Martin, you left your feet, you left your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Great tracking, Zabu. Shh, I'm gonna play a trick on Zabu. Watch this. <laughs> I can walk in my hands, too. <laughs> What's that? Wow, look at these tracks. Whatever foot made these tracks must have... I can't believe my mind. They're gone. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That's a real mystery, mm -hmm. Zob. Well, it looks like mine, but it's bigger. Well, mine is little. Yeah. Huh? Chris? It's your hand footprint. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, Zob. <laughs> Silly guy. Yeah. 
Everybody can make tracks. You can do it too. Nah. Me and my friends made tracks in Sabu Land. So I was leap leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I saw some tracks, I thought, what kind of a creature made those tracks? So I followed them. <laughs> leap, leap, leap. And then I bumped into Sense It. Oh, no. Hi, Sense It. I'm following tracks. No, Zabu. Those are my tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I've tracks. got an idea. Huh? Why don't we all make tracks? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tracks. Yeah. Tracks. Yeah. Yeah. tracks. Great idea. <laughs> so we all made yeah. tracks together. Yeah. And we all yeah. did it our own yeah. way. Yeah. Well, Snow Lemur? Snow Lemur left yeah. great big yeah. waddly yeah. tracks. tracks. Yeah. Sense It? Sense It made tracks with his fingers this time. I left along, so my tracks had big spaces between them. And Slimantha left two kinds of tracks, walking ones and sliding ones. <laughs> then we bumped into Google, and Google said... More nice tracks. We'll make more. Okay. So we made a whole bunch more. The end. <laughs> that was a great story, Zabu. But what is the Lynx looking for? I still think he's looking for someone to play with. <laughs> All right, let's play a ball with the lynx. <laughs> there you go. Catch it, ice! Oh, nice bouncing, Martin. <laughs> Thanks, uh. Got it, lynx style. Play a ball with the lynx. Here's your ball. <laughs> Thanks, Zob. <laughs> well, it's fun to play catch with the lynx. And Animal Junction's the only place he can do it. <laughs> Nice toss. All cats love to pounce, especially kittens in the wild. One time we saw two lynx kittens pouncing and wrestling in the grass. Now their sister heard them playing and she wanted to get in on the action. She couldn't see anything over the tall grass, but she could hear them. She followed the sounds and her ears led her right to the spot where her brothers were. Soon, all three of them were rolling around and playing and having a great time, thanks to those ears. I can't believe my mind. His ears are so soft and so big. He needs those big ears, Zop. Yeah, the lynx isn't the fastest cat in the world. So for hunting, he needs to rely on his smooth, steady moves, his great eyesight, and those excellent ears. Hey. Check out that cat. Do you want to go back down? There you go, buddy. Hey, the cat's headed right towards the mud. Cat prints. You know, cat paws are a lot like lynx paws without the snowshoe size. She was looking for the cat. Wow, that's weird. A cat and a wild lynx? Friends? <laughs> this could only happen in Animal Junction. Hooray! Hooray! Lynx found his friend. We're feeling kind of lynxish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I'm feeling kind of lynxish. How about you? Lynxish. Feeling kind of lynxish. <laughs> lynxish. Oh, yeah. I'm a big footed cat who knows where it's at. Lynxish. Do you hear that? They're purring, Zabu. That means they're happy. They're pals. Bye, Lynx. Bye, Orange Cat. There goes my Bigfoot friends. Yeah. Incoming. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a duck. duck. That's not a duck. It's Moonface. The barn owl. My pal. He doesn't leave tracks when he flies. But his tracks are all over this message from Jackie. Are birds the only animals who eat from a bird feeder? I don't think so. 
Squirrels and chipmunks love to eat seeds too. But squirrels eat so many seeds, there's hardly any left for the birds. Here's the solution. I made this garden so squirrels can't get to the bird feeder. They can get seeds from the ground. Cause some birds, they get more food on the ground than in their mouths. This way, both the birds and squirrels get to eat. Here's another cool thing about feeders. Great place to find animal traps. See that? Hey Martin, Chris, do you think you can find me by following my traps? Oh, and don't forget, if you start a bird feeder, make sure it's filled all winter long. The birds will come to count on you. I wonder where she's going. We'll have to follow her tracks to find her. Sounds like a trip to me. Me too. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> Let's go track Jackie. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. I'm gonna fool Martin and Chris. When they see my footprints stop, they'll think I disappeared. They stop because I'm walking backwards in them. Hey, Chris, this way. Looks like a human foot in a size one boot. Yep, these are Jackie tracks for sure. We got her now, no problem. Do you know Jackie? What? Her tracks stop. <laughs> Did Jackie learn to fly or something? <laughs> I don't think so. They're never gonna find me. Martin, different tracks. Hmm, let's see. Two toe prints, clean break down the middle. Not as pointy as a deer's tracks. I'm pretty sure these tracks were made by the feet of a bighorn sheep! Bighorn sheep use their front feet to dig in the snow. They're looking for food. Under the snow, there's lots of grass and other great tasting stuff to eat. Good idea, dig for food. Whoa, a granola bar. Good find, Chris. Top that, bro. All right. Chocolate! You never know what you can find under the snow. You'll never find me up here. Trying to figure out tracks is like solving a puzzle. You have to look at the track and try to figure out what kind of an animal has a foot that's shaped like that. These are Jackie tracks and somebody in the weasel family made this track. But who, a long-tailed weasel? Short-tailed weasel? Skunk? Otter? Fisher? There's only one way to find out. Follow those tracks. Let's go. These Jackie tracks look really fresh. Oh, here they come. Yeah, I think we're closing in. You thinking what I'm thinking? Jackie! Whoa. Jackie! <laughs> gotcha, guys! Jackie, you use that old creature standby. When they're hot on your trail, climb a tree! <laughs> I wasn't the only one, guys. I had company up there. A fisher was chasing a porcupine up the tree. Wow! There's the porcupine. And there's the fisher. Hey, did you know that when there's snow on the ground, a fisher can jump 20 feet out of a tree? Look at him go. Uh -huh. In the winter, fishers travel huge distances across the snow looking for food, and a porcupine is their favorite meal. But a porcupine's safe as long as he has his quills and can climb up in a tree. Hey, do you hear that? Sounds like bells. That's our ride home, guys. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go. <laughs> cool. Great idea, 
Jackie. Hey. No problem. <laughs> hey. hey, thanks for picking us up, guys. Going home. Oh, sorry I broke your branches. Um, can I make it up to you? I'll, I'll try. A caribou. How's it going, Zavu? Oh, guys, I broke him. I broke the creature. These branches broke off his head. I was climbing on them and they broke off. Don't worry, Zavu. The caribou is fine. These things that look like branches are called antlers. They grow on a caribou's head, and then, in the winter, they're supposed to fall off. So actually, Zob, you helped the caribou out. Oh, well, you're welcome. Anytime. Great job, Zob. Thanks. An eastern woodland caribou like her can also be called an American reindeer. Oh, she, she likes the cold, oh, like me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? The caribou burped. Hey, Zob, the caribou burped just like you do. I knew there was something I liked about her. Through the spring and summer, her antlers are gonna grow back. And then, by the winter time, they're gonna be big. Even bigger than the year before. They'll be huge. Yeah, like tree branches. Big, moving tree branches. <laughs> Reindeer are the only type of deer where both males and females have antlers. Why is your fur falling off, Martin? Besides shedding antlers, a caribou also sheds fur. Look how it's coming off in clumps. Caribou get a whole new coat once a year. Look! <laughs> Caribou's making tracks, too. Yay! Yay! More, More tracks! <laughs> I love tracks. Another amazing thing about the caribou is that great nose. A caribou can smell food buried six feet under the snow. And also food in the snack machine. She probably wants a snack. I always do. Hmm. Come and get it. Eat up, caribou. Wow. Anga Zika. These are giant footprints. Much bigger than the tiny footprints I saw in Zabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. And then I saw something that made me stop in my hop. Tracks. I've got to follow these tracks. And that's what I did. Until the tracks led me to Sense It, who was standing under a striped fruit tree. You don't to be careful. No. Hi, Zabu. Hi, Sense It. Did you make these footprints? No, <laughs> oh, just the big ones. Well, then who made the little ones? <laughs> oh, yeah, they did. They're my little sisters. No, no. <laughs> I'm babysitting them today. You want to help? <laughs> well, sure, Sense It. So we took care of Sense It's little sisters. <laughs> and we played all kinds of fun games with them. And when they got hungry, we fed them. Then one of the sisters said, Hey, want to make some funny tracks? Okay. And then we all jumped around and made funny tracks. The end. The caribou's making tracks. See you later, caribou. Bye, reindeer. Come back soon. I like calling them reindeer. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Keep making tracks, Zob. Yeah, and we'll see you later, buddy. Who could that be? Ho, ho, ho. Could it be? You think so? Hi, my name is Josh. This is my pet rooster, Spike. Fling.
right! Great catch, Mark. Nice throw, Chris. <laughs> My brother and I make a great team. And you're part of the team, too. But somebody's missing. Shabu Mafu! Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Buddy, good to see ya. I'll get Zabu a snack. <laughs> Zabu's got a strong grip. <laughs> yeah, sweet potatoes. Whoa, strong feet. Hey, Zabu, I've got some sweet potato. Want a piece? There you go. <laughs> yeah, Zabu loves sweet potato. <laughs> Hey, well, what's that? It's a ball, Zob. Oh, well, can I eat it? <laughs> Zabu, you can't eat a ball. <laughs> ball, not fruity. And you don't eat it, you play catch with it. Catch, catch. What's catch? That's what we're doing now, Zob. We're playing catch. And you are the lemur in the middle. Oh, catch! I'm the lemur in the middle, and we're playing catch. I want to catch. I want to catch. Have you ever played catch with a lemur? Yeah. Catch, catch. Throw it to me, and I'll... Uh... Sorry, Zob. Catch. Catch. Catch? I know somebody who could catch. Yeah, yeah. He caught a bug. And then he ate it. Who? A creature with a tail and hands. I can't believe my mind. He could catch. Yeah. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a long tail. A tail as long as my tail. And then he stepped on it. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Who could it be? This animal who I didn't see. There was a bug, and he grabbed at it with his hands. What kind of a creature grabs with his hands? Funny, wrinkly-faced creature. Um, do you know who he is? Okay, okay. A scrunchy, wrinkly face. Like this. <laughs> a long, grabby tail and little people hands that grab onto things, too. Then the Mr. Animal must be... A monkey! Monkey Tsika! Hey, why didn't I say Manga Tsika? How you doing? Because a monkey's here. Ng -ng -ng -ng. I knew it all along. This monkey is a white-fronted capuchin. And he's on the search for something. I wonder what he's looking for. This monkey is on a mission, but... I wonder what this monkey is searching for. What are you looking for? Hey. Maybe he's itchy and he's just looking for a good scratch. Huh? Monkeys groom each other's fur and pick out all the dirt, dust, and bugs. What are you looking for? A good grooming isn't what he's looking for. So what is he looking for? He's thirsty. Maybe that's it. Was that what you were looking for? No, he's still looking for something. What is it, pal? What are you looking for? You found a bean. Is that it? Nope. Wasn't looking for a bean. We've got to figure this out. No! Oh, use your creature sense! My creature sense is tingling! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Who threw that? Wasn't me. It wasn't me. He can throw? Oh, yeah. He can throw, all right? 
just like a ball player. But can a monkey catch? That's the question. He caught a bug in the woods. Well, there's one way to find out. One, two, three. I can't believe my mind. Did you see that? He can catch. Whoa, whoa, this guy's got good hands. Yeah. Fling! Catch! Fling! Catch! He throws and catches. Well, throw it back. Oof! I'm okay, I'm okay. Fling! I caught it. <laughs> fling! Catch and fling! Catch and fling! Catch and fling! He likes it. I'm gonna call him Fling. Good name, Zab. I'm Zabu. You're a Fling. Fling can throw, but I know someone who had trouble throwing in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when all of a sudden, I heard a sniffling sound. I took one big leap and landed next to Narchi, who was standing next to Google and crying. <laughs> What's the matter, Narchi? Why are you crying? <laughs> We're trying to play catch with the goobleberry, but I can't throw! Because my arms are too stubby. <laughs> well, I said we could play another game, but uh, he wants to play catch. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <gasps> I've got an idea, Narchi. Don't use your arms to throw. Use your nose and blow. Oh, good idea. <laughs> oh, good idea, huh? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm ready. Uh, oh. hey, here we go. And I'm the lever in the middle. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, nice catch. <laughs> it worked. I can play. Oh, let's do it again. <laughs> so we played Goobleberry Catch oh. all day. And I was the lever in the middle. <laughs> here, catch. <laughs> the end. Hey, Zob, Fling's on the move again. I wonder where he's going. Where are you going, Fling? Huh? What's this capuchin monkey looking for? Wait a minute. Where did Fling go? He's right <laughs> here, Zav. He's playing hide and seek. But what is he looking for? What are you looking for? Oh. <laughs> he's going everywhere. Fling's hungry. Oh, I get it. Fling must be looking for food. See, Fling is a white-fronted capuchin. And like all capuchin monkeys, he searches the forest looking for food. Yeah, like those white-faced capuchin monkeys we saw in the rainforest. Oh, who could forget those? There were about 20 of them, and they were all hungry. Yeah, they ripped into the trees looking for tasty bugs to eat. Whatever wasn't good to eat, they just threw away. Martin, is there food in your picture-taking thingy? No! My camera! Don't fling it, fling! <laughs> nice catch. That was a close one. Yeah. But it's not over yet. Incoming! <laughs> ah! <sighs> nice catch, Chris. Got it. He's hungry for something. And we've got to figure out exactly what he's hungry for. <laughs> throw me! Throw me! Throw me far! Yahoo! Whoa! Fling flung you far! <laughs> what is he doing? I think he's flinging. <laughs> He's not hungry for a pie. I know Fling will fling it, but how do you think Chris will catch a pie? Hey, Fling! <laughs> now I know how Chris catches pies with his face. <laughs> Did you see that, Martin? Chris catches pies with his face. <laughs> nice catch, Chris. And nice throw, Fling. <laughs> what a nutty monkey. Nuts. Maybe that's it. Fling wants nuts. He's gonna go for it! He's pushing the button! Whoa! Fling made it rain nuts! He likes nuts as much as I do! You're right, Zabu! 
Fling was hungry for nuts. <laughs> Capuchin monkeys love nuts. Nuts. That's why Fling was flinging things. Hey, Fling, fling us some nuts. <laughs> right. Chris can catch with his face. Let's see if he can catch with his mouth. <laughs> nice! <laughs> fling sure made a mess. That's because when a monkey is searching for something, he tears up the forest. When wild monkeys are hungry, they won't stop looking until they fill their bellies. And you know, as funny as monkeys are, this kind of mess is exactly one of the reasons people shouldn't keep monkeys as pets. Because monkeys mess up a room just like they mess up a forest. <laughs> and the other reason, which is really the most important, is that monkeys are happiest in their forest home. Living free and in the wild. I'm feeling kind of monkeyish. I'm really feeling monkeyish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel monkeyish. How about you? Monkeyish. Ooh, 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 ooh. Monkeyish. Fun, 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 monkeyish. I'm a quick handed monkey flinging things around. Monkeyish. Incoming. Hit the dirt. Duck. Hi, Sandstorm. She's a lantern falcon. Ball? It's not fruity. Want to play catch? Oh, can birds fling things? Hmm. I don't think. Whoa! The creature world's full of surprises. And so is Jackie. Alexandra and I caught these frogs down in Love Puppy Pond yesterday. We made them this nice home. But you think they're happy? I don't think so. They were happier in Mud Puppy Pond. That's their natural home. So we're gonna take them home. Come on! They'd rather be at their house than your house. And their house is Mud Puppy Pond. to eat. This is where our frog's the happiest, living free and in the wild. And that's what we're gonna do. Take Fling back to his forest home. Cause that's where he's the happiest, living free and in the wild. Is that gonna be the trip? Yup, let's get ready. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. You ready? Here goes. Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait a second. What do we need out of the closet anyway? <laughs> Maps and a compass. These are the tools we'll need to find Fling's forest home. There's one more thing we need. Thing, thing. I know it rhymes with thing. What could it be? A little monkey named Fling. Hey, have you seen him? Oh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. All right, come on. Let's go. This way. They're going on a cool adventure on, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Come on, Fling! When you're on an adventure and you're trying to find a certain forest, you need maps to show you which way to go and a compass to point you in the right direction. But a compass is a really delicate instrument and if it gets broken, we could get lost. So we have to be very careful with it and I'm gonna put it right over here while Chris and I look at the maps. I think if we head north and go past Tinker Creek, we might get there. Yeah, that could do it. Let's head out. Sounds good. You got the compass? Mm hmm That's the way we should go. Come on, Fling. This way. All right. Hey, hold a second. Compass says 
We should be going that way. Wait, shouldn't we be going this way? No, look. That way. Okay. Hurry up, fling! When a monkey's walking home, he's not always walking. These monkeys like to climb and swing through the trees. Whoa! 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 Get off my leg. Hey, Martin monkeys. But they're not capuchin monkeys. They're red howler monkeys. And this isn't Fling's home forest either. You're right, Chris. Hey. My compass is missing. Something funny's going on around here. Something like that. Fling! <laughs> you just can't stop flinging things. <laughs> he broke it. No wonder we kept getting lost. Well, it's a good thing creature adventures always carry a spare compass. All right, so now we can figure out where we're really going. That was a good idea, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so Fling's forest home is definitely that way. We're almost there. Look, white fronted capuchins. We found Fling's family. He knows we're in the right place. Bye, Fling. See you again sometime. The best place for a monkey, and the place of monkeys the happiest, is right here, living free and in the wild. This is his home. And now that we've returned Fling to the place where he's the happiest, let's head back to a place where we're always happy. Animal Junction! Wait till we tell Zabu about Wait a second. Do you hear something? You guys are hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, this Something's going on there. Let's find out what. Oh, oh, nice catch. Yeah, over here I'm open. Not again, duck! Oh, he meant that kind of duck, not that kind of duck. <laughs> Banana cream. Martin, wipe that pie out of your eyes, because he's not going to believe this. It's Monkey Junction! <laughs> Monkeys. Here's another kind. Owl monkey. And a swinging baboon. This is a squirrel monkey. They're fast grabbing little fruit eaters. Wait a second. Is he a squirrel or a monkey? <laughs> he's the size of a squirrel, but he's all monkey. And he doesn't bury nuts like a squirrel. He eats them. Look at how he gobbles up that crepe. Squirrel monkeys are great in the trees. They scramble around on the branches. A lot like squirrels do. Baboons hang out in big groups called troops, and they wander around the savanna together searching for food. The food can be scarce, so when a baboon finds some, he really stuffs his face. See how baboons can stuff so much food in their cheeks. Here, Ruddy, you want some? They just put it in there and save it for later. You want some more? Just not. I can see why they're named owl monkeys. Look at those huge eyes. They're just like big owl eyes. Great for seeing at night. Owl monkeys are the only nocturnal monkeys in the world. That means they're active at night, and that's why they're called owl monkeys. Look at him go! Watch out! 
Squidward's got into these monkeys. We thought Fling messed up Animal Junction before, but look what a mess many monkeys make. Well, you know the old saying, the more monkeys, the more mess. Do you know what time it is when you see a baboon with a basketball? Time to play ball. I know somebody who could catch who lived in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leap, leap, leaping along, leap, when all of a sudden I bumped into Narchi. Oof! <laughs> Hi, Narchi. Hi, Zabu. Great to see you. Hey, Zabu, want to play Goobleberry Ball? <laughs> sure, I said. So we played. I threw the Goobleberry Ball to Narchi, and he threw it back to me. <sighs> yeah. Hey, Zabu, catch this. <laughs> it's my super duper double looper. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh oh. That was our only Goobleberry. How are we going to play now? But oh. suddenly, hey. the Goobleberry oh, blew right back to us. Hey, hey where did that come from? Uh, who blew that Goobleberry? Nobody. Okay, then, uh, who threw it? Me. Who's me? Yeah, who's me? Me, Phoebe. Phoebe was shy and wouldn't come out of the water. But that was okay, because every time our ball went splash, Phoebe got it. And we played loop-de-loop -loop ball all day long. Hey, Phoebe, throw it over. Yeah, throw it back. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Hey, the monkeys are on the move. Guess they're going back to their forest homes. Goodbye, owl monkey. Bye, squirrel monkey. See you, baboon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's three different types of monkey. And did you know there are about 133 different kinds of monkeys in the world? And they all look so different. Some are big, some are small. Some have lots of fur, some don't. Some have small noses, and some have really big ones. But there's one thing that all monkeys do the same. Oh, oh, one thing is they come to Animal Junction. Right, and <laughs> monkeys make a mess. You know what my favorite part of the day was? This part. When the Krat Brothers catch pies with their faces. <laughs> I love banana cream pies. <laughs> and mischievous monkeys. And lemurs who fling things. Hey, that was my favorite part. The hilarious way those monkeys threw things. And I was glad we helped Fling Fling, I mean find his way back home to the wild where all monkeys belong. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing. We have to say, go, go make an animal friend today. today. Yeah! Ooh, banana. Give me, see ya. Bye, Zabu. See you later, Zabu. And we better get bouncing, too. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, you want to play? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Wait, this is my best chicken. Itchy. Run! I'm getting eaten alive! So am I! Hurry! We're almost there! <laughs> They're hot on our trail! Get in there, Chris! Hurry! I'm hurrying! Whew! We 
made it. We beat the mosquitoes. Yeah, that was a close one. Oh, but I got a lot of bites. I know, they got me too. They're so itchy. I know. Whew. I wonder if the mosquitoes got Zabu. Let's call them. Like mosquitoes. Zabu. 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 The lemur has landed. Zabu, buddy. Good to see you. Hey. Zabu's here. That leaping lemur. Zabu's feeling itchy today. He loves a good scratch on the neck. <laughs> Are you itchy? Zabu sure is. So what do you feed an itchy lemur? Don't ask Zabu, because Zabu doesn't like to talk before he has a snack. I got it! Scritchy, scratchy! Celery! Good for eating? And for scratching! Zabu, how about celery? <laughs> hey, here, have this one. That'll fill your lemur belly. Hey, let me have one of those. Sorry, pretty good. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Sip of a fool! I saw a really itchy creature. All creatures get itchy. From monkeys to meerkats. Fish to frogs. Kinkajous to crab brothers. And lemurs. Are you itchy too? Hey, and I'm getting itchy just thinking about it. The creatures I saw were itchy scratchy too. Who could they be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, four legs. I counted them myself. Four legs and two round eyes that looked at everything. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. And then there were two, two baby creatures. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Two baby creatures with an itch to play. Do you know who they are? Okay, I think I know who they are. Lion cubs! <laughs> oh, Martin, these cubs are brothers just like us. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, mystery animals here, and uh, they're brothers too, yeah. Uh, hey, brothers just like you. So I'll call them Chris and Martin. Hey, and you know something really cool about lion brothers? They grow up together then they hunt together, and then they take care of a pride together. The rest of the pride, or group of lions, is made up of lionesses and cubs. So we're with two lion cubs. Yeah, and hanging out with lions. That's one of those things you can only do in Animal Junction. <laughs> lion cubs are mungatsika. And you know what? They're itchy like us. Are you itchy? Mm -hmm. This one is. In the wild, an itchy cub can use his back paw to reach the itch behind his ear. <laughs> as long as his brother lets him. <laughs> itch, 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 itch. I am so itchy. I, I, I think the itch is here. Yeah, you're scratching my shoulder. Here you go, buddy. I'll scratch you now. I'm so itchy. Chris, could you give me a scratch? Sure, Zob. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh yeah, down, 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 down. Oh, oh yeah, down, down more. Down, down. Oh, oh. Well, I meant to do that. Come on, guys. <laughs> but I'm still itchy. Oh, it's gotta be the itch. Well, whatever it is, Hob, get over here because the cubs have an itch to play. Let's see if a lion is as fast as a lemur. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Martin, pass. Good bounce. Nice grab! Hey, let's see that again! The charge! Whoa! The pounce! Wow, what little hunters! <laughs> now look at these claws. Look how sharp they are. If you want a good scratching, 
Might want to see a lion cub. No way. The lion cubs are still itchy. Yeah, and whatever's making the cubs itch is making me itch, too. Me, yeah. too. Me, three, four, five. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right in the back. Come on. Okay. Oh, 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 that feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, more, more, more. Oh, oh, I meant to do that. He always said that. Who knows why we're itchy, but do you know why the lions have an itch to play? Because it's fun. Well, that. Yeah. And because when they play, these little hunters are doing everything they need to become big hunters when they grow up. Right. Here's how it goes. When lions hear a noise, they turn their ears towards the sound so the sound can come right in. Listening is one of the first things a lion does when she's hunting. OK. First, listen. She listens for creatures she hunts, like a warthog. Those swiveling ears are important because <laughs> that's how lions listen. Yeah, that's what I do, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had my ears pointed towards you, huh? <laughs> I hear the sound of two lion cubs charging. And that's the next stage in the hunt, Sob. But let's start from the top. OK, this is how a lion hunts. First, he listens. Right, Sob. Then he stalks, quietly sneaking up on his prey. Then he pounces on his prey. <laughs> but this time it's his brother. <laughs> the lion cub Martin pounces on the lion cub Chris. Yeah, playing is a great way to learn how to hunt. Everybody gets into the action. That's how they become big hunters. Yeah, I want to be a big hunter too. <laughs> Chris and I are playing tug of war. I think the lion cubs are winning. <laughs> I think we won. He oh, gave up. Oh, wait, well, he tricked us. <laughs> Too strong for me. They're strong. Uh, Even these little cubs. Hey. Come back here. He ran away with it. <laughs> mm. Lion cubs are strong. OK, I get it. These little hunters are learning how to be big hunters. <laughs> yep, I think he's getting the hang of it. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> the lion cubs always have an itch to play. <laughs> yeah, Zabu. And I'm, I'm getting itchy again. I told you, the itch, it's still here. You're right, Zabu. No, 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 lion cubs. No, no, stay away from that bag. Uh-oh. No, no, don't get into it. No, no, don't scratch it. Stop. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm in a dust bath. Sabu, you got <laughs> dusted, too. <laughs> There's nothing like a good dust bath to shake off yeah, the itch. I'm going to shake this itch. <laughs> hey, here's a question. What does an elephant calf do when she's itchy? What? Well, she goes over to elephants in her herd who are giving themselves a nice dust bath. Then she stands under them and gets dusted, too. Oh, so that's one of the ways the elephants get rid of the itch. You know what else works when you have an itch? Brushing. Yeah. Uh-oh. Itchy nose. Oh, 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 there he goes. <sighs> Ah! Oh, sneeze! Oh, you. Covered. Oh. Hey, Cubs, it's safe to come out now. Got in the prowl? I know there's a lot of animals who have been through Animal Junction, and the lion cubs smell them. Hey, like the African crab crane. <laughs> Did you notice that all the animals coming through here are itching and scratching? Yeah. I know. But what's making them itch? It's the itch! What? The itch! That's what I've been trying to tell you guys. The itch is here. And that's why we feel itchy-ish. It's got me. The itch is back. The itch is back! Oh, this itch is driving me crazy. This itch is driving me nuts. The itch is driving me garbanzo beans. Huh? <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel itchyish. How about you? Itchyish. I feel itchyish. Itchyish. I'm an itchy creature, and I got the itch. Itchy.
Chris! Chris! <laughs> you know what? I think there's only one thing left to do. We have only one choice. Yeah, but we haven't built one in ages. Hey, brothers, I think I know the... Do you still remember how? I can never forget. All right, let's do it then. Let's build the... I don't know what they're gonna build, but I know, I know why we're in China. Stretching machine! <laughs> Great job, bro. All right. Well, it's not doing anything. I'm still itchy. You have to turn the pedal, Zob. Turn the pedal. Yeah, turn the pedal. Turn the pedal. Manga Chica, it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> but it's not scratching me. How does it work? Like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Relief at last. And this is heaven. Ah. Hey, Mark, we gotta try the claw. The claw? All right, let's switch. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, yeah. I wanna try, I wanna have a go. It looks like fun. Your turn, Zav. <sighs> oh, the itch is back. Maybe we didn't get the scratcher going fast enough. All right, let's crank her up. Okay, I'm ready. Scratch me. <sighs> oh, it feels good. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. How's it feel, Zav? Yeah. Mm. Oh, no! Uh, She's uh, gonna blow! Oh, 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 that feels good! That feels good! Good oh, scratch! 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 That feels good! Yeah! Whoa! Bam! Oh, oh. Head for cover! And some scratching! Oh. I smell mud! Oh. 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 Mud makes my nose itchy! <laughs> <laughs> that was wild. Is everybody all right? Yeah. Yup, everybody's okay. Ah, the mud worked. I'm not itchy anymore. It's cool and refreshing. And hyenas use mud to stop itching. Right, after a hyena eats, flies crawl around on his face, and his face gets really itchy. So he'll go to a mud hole, wade in, and then stick his face right in the mud. That way, he won't be itchy but I still am. I guess mud wasn't the answer after all. Yeah, and you know, we've looked at all the reasons animals get itchy and all the things that make an animal itch. But we still can't figure out why we're itchy. Well, that's what I've been and trying And we've looked at all the ways animals get rid of the itch. But we're still itchy, no matter how we scratch. <laughs> that's what I've been trying to... You know, I think Sabu was right. Yeah, sometimes you just get an itch and you don't know why. And no matter what you do, you just can't get rid of it because it's just <sighs> the itch. That's what I've been trying to tell you. In Zabuland, we have a different way of chasing away the itch. I was leaping along, leap, 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 oh, good. when I landed next to Snow Lemur. He was playing in the sand. Oh, yeah. Hi, Snow Lemur, I said. Oh, uh, uh, hi, Zabu. Uh, you know, when I come down to Zabuland, I like playing in the sand. It's uh, cool in the morning, like the snow on top of Mount Zabumufu. Yeah, yeah, and it feels good when I'm itchy. Yeah, oh, yeah. I like sand, too. It gets rid of my itch, and it scratches my fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, and the sc sand scratches my side, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It scratches oh, my feels... side, too. Yeah. Oh, 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 feels good. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait a second. Sand can't scratch our sides. What's going on? What's going on? Me, Fibby. I'm the one who's scratching you. Well, thanks for scratching us, Fibby. Yeah, but it's not getting rid of the itch. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what do we do? Oh, oh Sabu. Yeah, uh, well, if it's the itch, the only way to get rid of the itch is to do the Malagasy chant. Yeah, yeah, Malagasy chant. That's it, Snow Lemur. Falu ma. A mande hande ha. Run a fan. Falu ma. Monday, Monday, huh? Run my fun. Our chance to chase the itch away up and over Mount Sabumafu and out of Sabu Land. And we weren't itchy anymore. The end. <laughs> hey, let's try that in Animal Junction. Veluma. Monday, Monday, ha? Run my fun. Veluma. Monday, Monday, ha? Run my fun. Vuki, day, 
Giju salamatuku, mafibu kibe. Giju salamatuku, mafibu kibe. Giju salamatuku, mafibu kibe. Giju salamatuku. So are the lion cubs chasing the itch, going back to the pride where they belong, living free, free and, and in the wild. wild. Incoming, duck! <laughs> oh, oh, thanks. Oh, I always like to be scratched. Oh, no, oh yeah. a little to the left. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, can you go in the back? Oh, that's really nice. <gasps> oh, that's good. Oh yeah. No, no. Can, can you go <laughs> Did you ever have a peregrine oh. falcon scratch oh. your itch? Oh, you've got to try it. It's good. Yeah. Uh, Oh, I should have called you Scratchy Feet. Oh, yeah, no, just over there on the, oh, by my ear. Oh. Well, while well, Zabu's oh. having his head scratched by a peregrine falcon. Oh, that's good. Let's see yeah. what Jackie's up to. Goldie and I went for a walk in the woods today. But when Goldie ran past some burrs, a lot of them stuck in her fur. Burrs make Goldie itchy. Burrs are really hard to get out. And they're prickly, too. Yeah, that's the last one. What a great animal help. Yep. So they got rid of the itch. And the itch isn't here in Animal Junction anymore. The itch travels the world. I've got an idea. Hmm? Let's follow the itch and see which creatures it leads us to. To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. You ready? They're Here going goes. to the closet to grab their <laughs> stuff and split. <laughs> <laughs> Binoculars always come in handy on a creature adventure. And you can never go wrong having a map and compass along. Come on, we have an itch to follow. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what Let's to follow the store. itch around they're the world. They're coming from the closet Rise and up. they're headed out the door. Bye. Ah, kayaking's the best. All right, so the itch is gone, but where'd it go? One way to find out is to follow the scratch. Woo, rapids! Whoa! There's somebody who the itch has gotten to. A shedding snake. This snake is scratching off her old skin. You know what? A snake sheds her skin inside out. See how she does it? She crawls between a couple of rocks and her old skin peels right off. <laughs> Martin, what are you doing? Ah, the itch has got me again. All right, you managed to get your paddle top off just like a snake does, inside out. Wow, that is some snake skin. The itch has definitely been here. And the grizzlies filled it too. Oh, another way creatures deal with the itch is to go somewhere cool and soothing. Let's hit the water. And he's even using a stick to scratch with. In the water to get rid of the itch. You know, grizzly bears love the water. And they're great swimmers. Let's head out and see who else has been hit by the itch. Come on, let's go. Did you hear that? What? Amazing! A herd of elephants! Yeah, it looks like they've got the itch too, and bad! An elephant! Now that's what I call a big scratcher. And elephants have all sorts of ways of dealing with the itch. For starters, they spray themselves with water and mud. That feels good. Sometimes, a big old tree gives an elephant all the scratching she needs. Now that's what I call a big back scratcher for a big itchy creature. 
And sometimes elephants deal with a big itch by rubbing up against each other. To a baby elephant, her mom's leg is a lot like a tree. Now that's teamwork. Oh, the itch is too much! The itch is too strong! Scratching isn't working! Run! Back to the itch-free zone! Back to Animal Junction! Let's leave this itch behind! <laughs> Does that feel good? Something's going on. Wait, do you want to find like, out why? Yeah, it must be right. Come on. Hey, Zabu. Hey. Who are you hanging out with? The dog was itching, so I'm scratching. <laughs> oh, so the itch is back. Yeah, the itch came back from the dog. It's a good thing dogs are such great scratchers. A dog can scratch any itchy spot with her nails or her teeth. Wild dogs, too. And a good brushing sure feels good to your pet dog when she has an itch. <laughs> It's funny how her leg moves. Okay, so here we are again with the itch. Now, can you think of any other way that we could get rid of the itch? Yeah, Frisbee! They've got an itch to play! Oh, Woo! Great catch! I love how she catches it before it even hits the ground. Yeah! Ooh, nice <laughs> one! Oh, the itch is hard to ignore! Hey, Zob, here you go! Nice catch, Zob. Oh. Throw back. Okay, catch. We did it. She's a frisbee dog, <laughs> and I'm a frisbee lemur. Okay, who's gonna get it first? Who's Chris or the dog? Wow! <laughs> Super catch. Yeah! I love playing frisbee. Yeah! I think this is working. I don't feel itchy anymore. Come on, let's go. We played the itch away. <laughs> hey, that reminds me of one time in Zabu land. <laughs> I was sleeping along. Sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> oh, Zabu, you're sleeping. <laughs> Baby, quiet. <laughs> hey, Zabu! <laughs> are you sleeping? <laughs> I'm not sleeping anymore. Oh, well, then, Zabu, <laughs> could you help me? <laughs> Well, sure, I'll try. I've got a itchy itch on my tail. Okay, I'll get it. Just hold still. I can't. Whoa. It's so Whoa. itchy. Please scratch Whoa. me, Zabu. No. Ah. Gotcha. Ah. And I started ah. scratching his ah. tail. Oh, that, oh, that feels good. It's well, fine, no, too. No, 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 it's no, like no, no not so fast. Ah. I, I can't. Oh. Ah. I can't it's, hang oh. on. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey, oh, Yabu, what are you doing up here? I was helping baby Zabumufuasaurus get rid of his itch. It, it worked. No more itch. Thanks, Zab. Uh... Hmm. I'm itchy now. Oh, can you scratch me? Here, Yab. Come on down. So I jumped down, and Slimantha tried to scratch me. Yeah. I slipped yeah. out of her hand. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's another story. The end. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I think we finally beat the itch. I was so itchy before, but I'm not itchy now. Yeah. <laughs> we did everything we could to scratch away those itches, and we're not itchy anymore. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Keep on leaping, Lemur. Bye, Zabu. Hey, Chris, let's go see what whales do when they get itchy. Let's check it out. See ya. Hi, my name's Jesse. This is my hamster, Hammy.